got my battery tray from Counterproductive in. Once again, very nice powder coating. I know he's had some issues with the uh, person he had doing the powder coating for him, but they do a good job even if they are slow. Got the element tie down, which is a nice touch. Got the counterproductive logo there. Again, this is a direct bolt-in replacement for the OEM battery tray. It'll let you run a bigger battery. So I'm gonna install this and let you all know how it goes. So this is the battery that I'm gonna be uh, putting on that new tray from Counterproductive. Uh, you can see mine's already kind of sitting lower and that's because I actually installed a custom battery tray that I kind of modded myself. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about uh, removing this battery because uh, I assume if you're installing a battery tray, you already know how to do that. And mine, of course, is a little different setup. Anyway, there's the little clamp that holds down the Optima battery. I actually don't like this tray that much. I had to modify it some to fit this battery, so I don't recommend these uh, Optima specific battery trays if you do decide to do something like that. You're not going to need this for this particular job. Uh, mine's just unique, like I said, but man, if you don't have any of these, get you some of these. It's just an Allen key, fits on a socket. Man, I love these things. So much better than using an actual Allen key. Just to give you another view of the uh, battery tray that I was running, it's just held it on this side, a couple rib nuts, and it just kind of hangs over the side. So. so I don't really trust it that much. So hopefully this uh, counterproductive tray will be a better solution for me. There is the old tray that I was using. You can see I had to grind it down here to actually get it to fit. So yeah. Worst case, I've just got a couple rib nut holes, you know, that I won't use on here. So no harm, no foul. Uh, shoot a little WD-40 and all the bolt holes just to make my life a little easier. So everything is a little, a little corroded. And thankfully, I remembered to save all of my bolts from my old battery tray since I removed it. And so the rib nuts that I added for the old battery tray do stick up a little bit on the frame rail. So I'm just going to add some washers um, to these where the tray is going to sit to help just kind of flush that out. All right, there's just a few stainless washers that I'm going to add on that top there just to make the tray sit even with that one rib nut there that's going to get in the way. I'm going to start by putting the ones, the lower ones on the side of the frame rail in. You can just hand tighten those and leave them a little loose because the tray has a couple slots so you can just slide it over the top of the bolts. All right, now I'm just going to slide it in. It is kind of hard to see what you're doing under there. So I am seeing the holes don't seem to line up perfectly. Um, he's made them big enough so, you know, there's a little bit of fudgeability with it. So I'm going to put the top bolts in before I tighten those lower ones, which is what you're supposed to do anyway. So I'm going to get those in and see how it does, but it is kind of looking like it may make the battery tray sit at kind of an angle instead of completely level. And I suspect that there is some variation uh, in where the actual bolt holes on the elements are uh, on these frame rails for the battery tray. Um, I'd have to go back and look at my old one to see how big they made those holes, uh, you know, how much play they give you. But I'll go ahead and finish this up. See if we can get it working right. Man, there's just no room get your hands in here oh and you probably can't pull that piece off of yours because it is riveted in but I broke mine a while ago 
doesn't really matter if you do drink it. And I hate to say it, but it's, it's just not lining up. Try something else here. I'm gonna remove the lower bolts. See if I can just get the top ones working. I think I might see what the problem is here. I'm gonna pull this thing out. Take a look, see if I am right. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. So I think that's what's keeping me. There's a slight, you can see right here, this is bent a little bit. Uh, it's not supposed to be, so I'm gonna have to bend it back, but that's keeping me from pushing this up against the frame rail as much as it should. So I'm gonna go grab some pliers and see if I can just bend that little piece back. Hopefully that'll help. Me. I'm not gonna fault him for this. This could have easily just been damaged in shipping. So, and it's easy enough, easy enough for me to repair myself. Yep, there we go. Okay. All right, give it another try and see. Uh, yep, that does look a little bit better. If you've got some kind of like a magnetic socket that can hold a bolt to start with, uh, I would recommend that because this is, this is very hard to get to these. And if you're not accustomed to mangling your hands all the time like I am, might not have a very fun time getting this in. I need a wrist that can twist backwards. Oh, and the uh, battery tray bolts are 12 millimeters, by the way. All right, I think I got it. All right, you are gonna want a long extension when you're doing this. I will say, so there's a little cutout to accommodate the socket wrench on the farthest back bolt. And there's the cutout in the middle of the tray for the middle bolt, but there is not one for this first bolt, which I can probably get to that with a sock with a um, open end wrench, but it sure would be a lot easier to do with my socket. But my deep socket's not gonna work. Maybe, maybe if I grab a smaller one. Oh, of course, got 12 right here. All right, so let's try that. I wish I could find my ratcheting socket because that would make this a lot easier. But as is so often the case, the one size tool that we're looking for is the one you can't find. Okay, got that first one tight. And tighten down the last two on the top of the front rail. I don't know what the torque specs on this are. Torque them till they're tight. Till they're tight. Don't break the bolt. It's always a good thing. Okay. Now, this is the awkward part: is getting under the tray to get to those two bottom bolts. It is nice he included even included a tab to mount uh, where the battery cable, the negative cable, I believe, runs. Um, from the block. There's a little clip on the stock battery tray that you can stick it on on the end, and he added that on here too, which is nice. Actually added two of them. Pretty sure both of mine are broken anyway. But just a nice little touch. I'm gonna get a slightly shorter extension. All right, shorter extension, Let's see if that works. Should've done this first. This is also a very useful tool, is extension. Give you a little more leverage when you're doing stuff like this. Okay, so it's in there. Everything's tightened down. Uh, it doesn't look like it's sitting completely level right now. It's got a little bit of an angle to it, but it probably isn't going to be noticeable when the battery's in there. So let's... Uh, Go ahead and stick the battery back in there and see how it looks. Oh. There we 
There we go. So it is at a little bit of an angle. It's kind of tilted towards the driver's side, high, high on the passenger side, low on the driver's side. Uh, but honestly, it's, you know, it's hardly noticeable. And it's certainly a much nicer battery tray than the one I had in there before. And it's a much nicer battery tray than the stock one. And it will also allow you to just bolt in more or less and do a bigger battery like I've already got here. So I th overall, I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. So uh, one thing to keep in mind, it doesn't include the J hooks for your battery uh, tie down. So just make sure you reuse the uh, ones you already have. And make sure you have the element logo facing the right way. I almost put it upside down. I would recommend include, I have little uh, plastic washers that I'm putting on top, or if you have those rubber things that sometimes you can get with these battery tie downs, I definitely use one of those to keep, keep you from destroying the uh, powder coating. It's pretty tough, but not invincible. Oh yeah, it's nice and solid. All right, let's see if all my battery wires fit. Got a loose one already that I gotta reconnect to my negative. I will say I've, my wires have been somewhat customized and changed around a bit, so it may not be exactly like other people's. All right, install complete. Let's go ahead and crank the car up, make sure everything's still hooked up, still working, and we'll go from there. Car started. Always a good sign. All right, so now that the tray is installed, I uh, just figured I'd share a few of my thoughts. Uh, I think it is reasonably priced for what it is. Uh, it's a good uh, bolt-on mod that you can get that'll allow you to run a bigger battery if you don't want to DIY a bigger battery tray. Um, there were some shipping delays, uh, but I prefer to give uh, small startup companies the benefit of the doubt. Um, I think we've all been spoiled by instant shipping. Um, and, you know, there's plenty of small operations that are still making parts for VW Vanigans and VW buses that, you know, they make stuff to order. The shipping is not immediate. Uh, you might have to wait a little while, but it's for a very niche market. And that's the same as what the element is. Uh, you know, they don't make these cars anymore. They might never make them again, at least not, you know, anything like this. So if we want to keep seeing uh, products for this vehicle, got to support those small people who are uh, getting out there and making cool stuff for them. Uh, so I do think that uh, the tray needs a little bit more flexibility in terms of where the mounting holes are. Um, I had some trouble getting the top bolts to line up perfectly. Uh, the tray is tilted a little bit in there. It's barely noticeable. Um, like I said, I do think as it is right now, it's totally worth the money and it's a nice bolt in replacement. Um, but hopefully the next run, he can make a few little changes, make those holes a little bit bigger so there's more flexibility. Uh, but yeah, other than that, don't really have any complaints. Powder coating is nice. It's welded together nice. It's, uh, you know, feels good, substantial in your hands. Um, it's a solid piece of work, basically. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. Uh, if you're looking to run a bigger battery in your element, uh, check out the counterproductive battery tray. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, if you have any ideas for videos or things that you'd like to see more of, let me know in the comments below uh, and be sure to check me out on Instagram and check out my website. Uh, Instagram is camping.element and the website is thecampingelement.com. Happy camping.